doesn't actually overexpose himself. I like how he's playing this. It's very measured now as he throws in that Thermite, gets the connect, and now they're charging forward, connecting with it. The Mastiff. They're going to be able to take out two. It'd be a lot tougher this. if this was Season 5, as they are safe for now, but they will have to take that 3v3 fairly soon. But all gold armor's here for THG. And another good-looking team fight. Look at these shots from Hell. Yeah, you have to understand that Hills is also taking a lot of damage with that arm shield. And so he's just winning out the trade handily for now. But as I say that, Teenage right, Marvel will see if Clarify has his own now. Goes Ooh. to the jump peak. It's for 88. He's going to change it up now. Swing on over to the right hand side. Trying to get the flank on them now. They don't have the scan quite yet. As the bubble is used by Muffins here. But Pride just overextends. He goes down. McCarthy Muffins will go down next. And now it's all to Clarify in a 1v3. No, it's a 1v2 here. The push from building to building can be absolutely deadly. And yes, it is Solafide up top as the dome was used early on. Mercy only is the one to get the knock onto Burger Boy. RKN knocking out Blur as we see the kill feed there. Muffins trying his best to dodge Half around, right? Kind of avoiding a lot of what's going on in No Name and trying to make a beeline for uh, the cave if they possibly can. Man, catching one out, you cannot be out crafting there, yo yo. Full three man squad, Ooh. but oh, that's what I'm talking about. Sarah Tricky with the 301 doing so much damage now. They're gonna go ahead and toss in the nade with the uh, Boston generator, eat all of that up, tries to slide in the queue just in time to avoid lethal damage. But the charge coming out from Sarah Tricky, I am loving this aggression coming out from Sarah Tricky right now. As it looks like he might just be able to get another knock. No, they slow things down as they get scanned from behind. And what a great job just pivoting and swiveling here as they get one for one. Naughty knocks out Mercy, but it looks like Zara Tricky might be able to clutch this out for the team as the bubble is there. Hits for an 88. Another 88 misses that third one. Team grabbing all that action there. Didn't miss any single bit of it, but we know where this zone was pulling and we know who's in position. It's our team that won the previous game, but we're looking at Minions, Stink, Casellos over here trying to stay alive as this Thermite's burning right in front of them. And a little bit of a door game going down. Usually the one that kicks the door is the guy that dies, but Stink with a nice little crouch strafe. This is where the aggression's coming in. They have armor swaps inside. Who's going to be able to help Hill? He does have the massive train on the door, and so anyone that tries to peek take a lot of damage. Now it's Teen that gets peeked, and he gets knocked. Tez is going to be sung to take him out. GS Bird finds one more. We'll see if Tempest can clutch this one out. On to Farmer Lucas, and here we go. This is what I'm talking about. You need to get aggressive onto the team. Hill goes down. Crowley will pick up Tempest, and just like that, THT are knocked out in the top three, but they have so many points under their belts. Now it's the finals two squad. Takes no damage as now they are setting up to breach and clear. Here comes the scan. They're set up in the corner. Massive out, only hitting for 14. Ooh. That's a 112. They smell blood in the water. They want to finish this Big off. Here comes a nade from Inspiring Moose. We'll see if it gets a knock, and it will. On to Gobble. They charge forward off the back of the knock. A couple of good teams. Speaking of good teams, they're on board with Zera Tricky. Looks like they're taking on Naughty and his squad, but. Well, that make the triple take, picking up two kills. Don't know if he was able to get the thirst. URW trying to finish this fight off as quickly as possible. As we know, that map pick's team is right up top, ready to try and jump down. They cannot trade. They have to do this clean at this point. Not even take too much damage, but talk about oh. too much damage. Bird Dog goes down. They're not trading quite yet. There it is. I think it's strictly, but that's going to be Matt Pickett's team coming in very soon. That Fruit Ninja, and it looks like Seek gets top four for his team. He's ratting it out. How much longer can he survive here? It's just full squads remaining along with Stink. As he tries his best, finally goes down, and now we're left with three squads. Mr. Hakula pushing forward. Mercy only already got a knock onto Mini, onto Bowser. Petty Boss answers back finally for the squad, but it's Sola Fide now to clean this all up. They know the traits are there. This is their game to win. They spot him out with that just in time, but he might already be cracked at this point. There we go. Pride gets the knock. And it's all cleanup duty at this point for them. And it's about finishing this off strong. It's about finishing this off cleanly and not making any mistakes because this is all Sola Fide. Next one. No one's covering that 
yet, but there we go. They swap on over. First kick, second kick, Ooh. come on in with that massive. That's the instant knock. Team right behind him. He needs to pop this bat. They need to buy some time, and it looks like he will be able to get it off as he's going to pop that beast of the hunt now, ready to fight with that bolt in hand. He swings right, but Bird has taken so much damage. I'm Sun will answer back, though, and that's going to put a stop to this push as he gets the knock on to Mini. Petty Boss is gone, and there's only one left. Was I think the aggressive one was the one that came out later though. Haculo, oh boy, Zerich Tricky getting that first knock on to Z Davis. Will they be able to clean this one up? Girth goes down. Zerich Tricky up there if they want to close that one off. Perfect scenario here for you like that mate, but you do have Solafide getting aggressive onto their house and destroying a lot of these fences. There's the PK, it's gonna connect for 66. A flank coming in through the bottom. That's gonna be 165. That's set up into the house. So completely different squad over here, multiple teams. Plane is gonna to drop to a double PK there. His burger boy is gonna to drop to Crummy. You'd like that mate coming in with the swoop. I like this play, getting aggressive. They heard the shots, they left their spot. They know it's two good teams. They're going, gonna go use that kill feed to their advantage and press forward. And they are just controlling the entire zone here with uh, three seconds left to work with as the zone closes. Now they're going to go ahead and jump up top. Bubble out instantly coming out from them. What a great play. As we do a full 3v3 fight in the last zone. Matt Pickett gets that first knock onto I'm Sung, but they're answering back. And wow. wow. Hill controls the Logan out with this. He can go right back on up. And when they want to, one final tick on that. Some information to work with. They do have the Watson generator there, but it does not heal fast at all as Hill instantly going. It's a two for two. Here's the port coming out from Teenage here as they want to punish this as much as possible. He gets the port right up onto the door. Now he charges forward. You see two knock people right in front of him. 28 onto the purple. Misses a second. Oh, sure here's an EMP. EMP. And that's not a friendly one, so they're going to have to get out of here. Here comes the charge. All players pushing into the bubble. It's going to be E-Boy Ronnie. That's not even inside the team of the house. There's going to be three teams involved in this fight. And all right, guys, the Counter-Strike crouching strategies don't work in Apex. It's confirmed. Oh, boy. Solafide now charging out to clean up the rest of it. John, over to THT, but... You see Petty Boss with a double knock over here, knocks on both sides. This is the opportunity they're gonna push in now, and THC could win this. Yeah, they they see the trade. They know exactly how to end this one out. Hill gets knocked though. Petty Boss once again left by himself. 